Hey everybody, welcome to UK Gaming Network, uh, where I'm once again playing some PlayStation PlayStation VR. This week, I'm uh, going to be playing some driving games, cracked out the steering wheel for some of them. Uh, it's going to be viewer choice. Uh, you can see the list of games in the top corner. Um, hope So feel free to pop up in the comments and tell us what you'd like me to play next. Uh, the game that I'm currently playing is VR Cards. Let me get let's go. The race has started. This game doesn't actually support the, the steering wheel. In case you're wondering why I'm not why I'm using a controller. I've got a very good turning circle on it, this car, this go car. Ah! ah. Some, some, somebody's reverse, reverse my controls. And why can I hear myself twice? Have you got the mic on the camera? On as well? No. That's me. That's me having been hit with a behind. I think. Surely you need to do a Nicholas Cage impression then. No. Spoil sport. This go kart doesn't turn. I need to work out what's going on with the voice because that's going to get really annoying. I mean, I'm covering my mic whenever you're talking, so it's not from that end. <clears throat> Have to actually use your wing mirrors on this game. Does that push it into simulation territory? Uh, no. So, just to be clear, Dirt Rally, Drive Club VR, and Gran Turismo Sport have the dri driving steering wheel support? Correct. 
And we are currently playing VR Cards, is that correct? Yes. Shot me. It's a very quiet game as well. Yeah, even the sound effects aren't very loud. I do hope that by the end of the stream we have seen you play some Wipeout. Well, some more will have to select it. I just realised there's no engine sound on this game. Exactly. That is quite strange. It's, it is only an indie title. I've got no idea how much. It, I can't remember how much it actually cost me. But it wasn't much. Yeah, but still, it's like a karting game. Surely there'd be engine noises. <laughs> I mean, congratulations to the developers because it's a VR game and that's never going to be easy, but obviously sound was not a priority for them. Track remaining one. How did they get a boost up? Probably the same way that all karting games is, you know, hit the accelerator right as it's the green light hits. Faint skidding noise. I really hope it's not something daft that we've done, like turned down the sound, but I don't think you did anything like that. Nope. So, what we're hearing now is the default sound. That's how a karting game should, should be. <laughs> Throwing weapons at all your opponents. Boom. 
for now. Yay! Oh, trophy popped as well. I earned a, I earned a silver trophy for that. That seems there's a there's a press the square button for your horn. Can't see, uh, considering the sound is so quiet, well, that's not exactly going to be useful, is it? Still, you have to try it now that you've said it. Not exactly Mario Kart, is it? <laughs> Not even Crash Team Racing. You know my thoughts have to be Mario Kart and Racing. <laughs> Let's not have an argument on stream. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you when you said that. And I'm not hearing myself anymore either. So have I have I left the Discord? Uh, why did it skid all the way over there? Why was that then? It's showing that I'm talking. Like it flashes when I talk. Um, I've just joined again. Can you actually hear me in the Discord?
Hmm. Yeah, I actually heard you in the Discord. Yeah, I uh, left and rejoined, but now I can barely hear you. Well, now I can hear myself. I can hear myself again. Like a second after what I'm saying. Yeah, that's because my mic's working. Beat Freak. Really? What? The, the name of the character. Beat Freak. I'm guessing that's a short. I'm guessing that's a shortcut that I just that I just saw on the way. Oh no. It's not very good, is it? <laughs> well, it's not terrible, considering this is an indie made VR game. I think, you know, they need, there are some good things about it, all things considering, but. So I try playing something else. Yes, uh, we don't have any suggestions yet. Let's switch game. I reckon we should go for the uh, original, yep, Gran Turismo Sport. Need the joypad on one side, I'm not going to need that. Okay, so, so this is Gran Turismo Sport, and VR mode is actually a separate option on the menu, so uh, add to that. Pick a track and a car, and off we go. 
Yeah, it's automatic because you actually do have a flappy paddle gearbox on your steering wheel, don't you? I see Paddy's. I see Paddy's finally here in the chat. Well, good, good evening, Pad. Finally here. Yeah. <laughs> He's not missed much. He's just missed me playing some VR cats. That's not good. Oh, Someone <laughs> <laughs> tells me the steering wheel is not collab is not calibrating correctly. You're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have a problem if you need to turn left, aren't you? Mm, I'll be fine. I said that, and then crashed. Evening, Pat. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's we start? That's the button. Right. Exit and go to steering wheel cal the calibration, wherever that is. Ooh. That's not what I wanted, was it? Right, let's go back to the main menu. Uh, you, I'm not really going to respond to that part. <laughs> Why? What's he said? Um, he said that this must be torture for me. I know you're not a fan of racing, and now you have to sit on a mic on his stream. Where's the option menu? Ah, there we go. Okay. And once again, Pad is uh, finding sound bites of, yes, you're going to have a problem if you need to turn left. Nah, I'll be fine. Crash. I want to, I want to find a steering wheel calibration option. I don't want to change the button configuration. I want to actually configure the steering wheel. I've got no idea which Thrustmaster steering wheel I'm actually using. It doesn't say on it, does it? No. It's not a force feedback one, I know that one. Quick play Overcooked while they streaming racing. You didn't need to put that in the chat pad. Similar issue when I tried playing Drive Club before, but I was able to actually configure the controls in that, and then it was fine. Yeah, see, it's doing the same thing again. For the purposes of the stream, shall we go straight to Drive Club then? working now. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Simple. Unplug it and plug it back in again.
what I do find is that up playing driving games in VR, I do actually find hitting the apex is a bit a little bit easier, <laughs> weirdly. It makes sense though, because you're essentially in the driver's seat. And it's in 3D. You know, I braked when it told uh, at the point that I was supposed to, and it didn't. Okay. Oh, good old, good old Gran Turismo AI. Didn't you tell that. me is that how you turned in Gran Turismo though? Like in the original, yeah. But that was um, that was classic AI that was treating treating the road like I wasn't even there. Steering wheel does feel nice attached to this desk. Should have done this sooner. <laughs> yeah, we have had a problem with just trying to set it up so that we've uh, we can play using the uh, steering wheel. Yeah. And I've got a proper frame for attaching it to, which works to a certain degree. But it all depends on what what chair you've got. You've got to sit on in front of it. Mm -hmm. So I think the best option would be to actually go to a scrapyard and buy a car seat. Pat has said, racing games are great in VR, but for viewers, when you're just looking forward, anyway, there's no difference between VR or normal. And he's got a point there. There is. Well, I can say as a viewer myself, because I'm watching what you're doing, it's yeah. not really that much different. But my head, my head will be moving, which the head of the head of a virtual character won't be. It's not like exciting, <laughs> to be honest. Just watching you move your head. <laughs> well, I must say it's rather annoying that um, that they they put the uh, the hood in the in the actual middle of the middle of the car when you're in in races. The point is, you're not moving. I am, though. Only a little bit. It doesn't really change what, you know, what I can see on the TV. I am moving. I'm, I'm til tilting my head as I go around corners. Yeah, but for a, a racing game, it's, it's not a massive difference. track should i do next can we, can we just tend to agree that for you who's playing vr is probably the superior way of playing a racing game but for just somebody watching not necessarily well that's the, that's true of all vr games though <laughs> not just racing games
Yeah, but some games, because they're so designed around the whole VR concept, they're still interesting to look look at. So yeah, you see the hood is like right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Paz just said, lol, what did I start now? And he's just like... Uh, this is actually a very calm conversation pad, considering we were trying to play Overcooked earlier. And I will say, trying to play Overcooked. VR games where you'd move your head like the Astrobot one, or Flying Sims. But racing, you're just looking forward as that's what you're meant to do. As no, Pad has just said. The Apex. Mm -hmm. And I'm moving my head at just as much playing this as I did playing Ace Combat. Uh, or it. Or even Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Oh, Star Wars, the Battle Squadrons, but that's kind of part of the flying sim thing. I've already already done a live stream of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lol, what level? It was Overcooked 1, 5, 4. The lava level where every you got the things on figure 8 going around your two islands. Why is the sound going off on the telly? Uh, because you need to do the uh, any button. <laughs> I don't know, can't see the remote. It should be on the sofa. Found the remote to turn it back on. Am I that far ahead of the other cat? So Pad has just said you're only moving your head when we're mentioning the head movement and then saying that I am moving my head. No, I'm not. I know, because I've just <laughs> seen you move your head to double check the centre HUD bit. And I'm checking my, re uh, I'm checking my rear view mirrors, see if I can see the car mm -hmm. behind you were You were a lot more active. With the head movement on that level. Well, that's why I picked it, because it's a rally one. <laughs> but, it, but it isn't much of a... Um, there's a drone there. Um, the VR mode is, is a bit of an afterthought on, on this game. doesn't let you play through the normal modes. Let's do one more race. I'll move on. So, Pad, as you're in the chat, um, do you want to pick what the next game is? Uh, of course, this is Gran Turismo Sport. We started off playing VR Karts. Leaving us with Dirt Rally and Drive Club VR, which does have the wheel support. 
and then Tiny Tracks and Wipeout Omega Collection. Which don't. You could also add um, Mini Motor Racing X to that. Sadly, I didn't have uh, didn't have enough time to get, tra get uh, Track Mania installed. But that's actually probably a good thing because you don't because nobody wants to see me throw up on on a stream. <laughs> oh God! Well, you say that, I'm sure a lot of people would like to see you throw up on a stream. Well, I know Pad would. Yeah. Uh... Pad has suggested Wipeout, which is yay, because I wanted to see you play that as well. Um, not actually as uh, vo uh, vomit-inducing as you'd think. Because they've been quite sensible with, it, with how they've implemented the VR. Now. If I'm playing this type of driving game with a steering wheel, it takes a little getting used to. I think I'm getting there. Not like plunking yourself in front of a ridge racer or out in an arcade. Shame that the uh, PlayStation version of Project Cars doesn't have doesn't have VR on it, like the PC version does. You have left him behind. I do have to wonder that if, uh, with Steam and Oculus, whether or not there's a uh, learn a driver simulator. Wouldn't surprise me. So they'd see. Um... Project cars for the PC with its full, full VR setup and steering wheel and everything. Mm -hmm. um, at arcade club.
There we go. So what's your opinion of uh, Gran Turismo VR then? Well, I think the hand I think the handling's good. But it's just a shame they haven't implemented more options into it. I mean, uh, let's get over the switch game then. <laughs> Oh, Pad is asking us to get an Oculus Quest next so we can find a learner driver sim on Steam. Yes, we'll just do that straight away. Okay. Actually, Pad, a little bit of homework for you, since uh, we're streaming at the moment. You go onto Steam and just have a quick look, see if you can find one. But then he won't be watching me play Wipeout. Well, he doesn't have to do it straight away. So, you know, when I first heard that they were making Wipeout in VR, I did fear the worst. <laughs> I know you didn't mean now, Pad. Very pretty. Nice bright colours, which sometimes becomes lacking in VR. But you see, they do, they do have this view, yeah. but rather than rather than tilt the entire thing, you still see the ship tilting. Ah, uh, yeah. And that makes it far less um, likely to make you hurl. Mm -hmm. Makes me think of uh, pod racers from Star Wars. ray tracing in those puddles. Might look it, but it's probably just some very clever coding. Well, this was always one of the best, best looking games on the PS4 Pro. Pad. Lol, they stopped you looking around. So for a viewer, you're just looking forward again.
how to perform a barrel roll. Yep. <laughs> left, right, left. Or, or right, left, left, right. Yeah. Because you can play it like that. Ooh, try playing it like that form. It's almost a time trap. Where? Ooh. Yes, it was a time trial one. Is there no tilt option for the camera? What do you mean? Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, can you steer with the cat with the headset? Don't think so. Game options. Lock camera to cockpit. So lock camera. Lock camera to pilot. There you go. Because some users to experience motion sickness. That's the only reason Pad wants me to try it. <laughs> I mean, he said here, I'm meaning, is there not a vomit mode where there's more movement going on? Oh, geez. Even as a viewer, that's a bit. How's that feeling? Doesn't really feel that much different. <laughs> Pat is happy. Yes, vomit mode. Not as bad as track mania. Are we gonna have? <laughs> Are we gonna have to do a challenge next week for Trackmania? How long can you last before you need to throw up? You know, it's when you're doing the jumps that it like really gets to you. What's this mode? Essentially, where it just keeps going until you uh, uh, until you blow up. Okay.
Nice to try some of these settings, see what, they, see what differences they do. <laughs> uh, pads up for watching a vomit stream, and we'll give a quid super sticker if it's under an hour. A one pound. Yeah, that's how much your vomit is worth to pad. Gold medal already. Silver medal awarded. Gold medal awarded. Pad reckons that a quid for some vomit is probably a really good, right? I can kind of see his point of view. Depends how much vomit. Yeah. If I make sure that I have a chocolate milkshake before the stream. Oh no, because I'll have to clean it up! <laughs> Strawberry milkshake? With a bright pink vomit would be quite... would be more entertaining. Yeah, make me think you're throwing up blood. No, thank you. What did he just say? Did, did he suggest a cherry one? No, not a cherry one, thankfully. You probably do something daft, like have a portion of peas beforehand as well. Carrots. Oh, carrots, right. Every vomit has carrots in it. Mm -hmm. Even if you've not eaten carrots for days. Mm -hmm. Getting a bit fast now. <laughs> Phantom. Oh, Pat's never made a quid from some sick before. Has he not? No. Maybe it's something you need to start doing on, on, on our Twitch channel. Yeah. Forget the arcade games. Watch Pad throw up. Watch Pad uh, try try different foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Will be nice thing to say. F weird foods from from around the world. Where's my actual health bar? Oh, there it is. I can see it now. Where is your health bar? At the side of where it says the, the zone number in the middle. Oh, okay. There you go, blown up now. That was a bit of a weird uh, mode. That's like a high score mode. Okay, Pad's uh, a bit confused because uh, 
He's got, Jesus, did you both just have a fake conversation with me? Suggesting I pick cherry, then peas or carrots. Currently, he's having some smoked brie, and it's very nice. So I'm guessing that the cheese that went into the smoker worked quite nicely then. Change some of these back again. <laughs> Not better. If you keep moving your head, yeah. when you're in first place. Usually when you're in first place uh, for games like this, it's like you'd always get like a shield. Should we move on to a different game? Yeah, should we go back to... Uh, should we do... Well, the rally game, the rally track looks very good on Gran Turismo. Shall we do uh, Dirt Rally? Go on to Dirt Rally, yep. Yeah. Now, Dirt Rally is different to Gran Turismo in that it does actually like, give you the option to, option to play, play the entire, entire game, game in VR.
I like the way it says to keep to stay still. Right. I'm sure I'm going to be able to. I probably don't have any. I don't know. I do. Let's start with the slower ones. Some minis. Yeah. Lots of other minis alongside me. Was there a giant monster in the centre center of that field then? Probably. Well. Ooh. Do the jet. Uh, uh, need to get a bit more control that. I know. <laughs> I've done the joke a lot, but I think there's a couple of people who have Although I am currently in last place. Mm -hmm. See, now I know what, now I know what kind of monster you mean. You mean <laughs> an actual can of monster? Yeah. <laughs> Other drinks are available. <laughs> Although not according to this game. Oh, I can just see the uh, other racers in off in the distance. I'm hoping that at least at least one of them. I've still got to do the joke a lot. What does it mean by joke a lot? There's a a little a little section of the track yeah. which you have to go round at least once. Okay. So just off to the left there. Why is it called the Joker Lab? I don't know. Probably derived from um, playing your Joker. So, because you get a choice of when you want to, when you want to do it. Okay. Ooh, you're nine seconds, well, eight seconds behind.
Yeah, it didn't do very well on that, did it? Oh, well, it's your first practice lap. That was only qualifying heat one. Mm -hmm. got, got a couple more heats to try. Vehicle has not been repaired. Yes, I would like to repair it. Thank you. Which is the R1 button. That one. Yep. Uh, Pat has found another sound clip. Oh, I can just about see the other races just off in the distance. Burn. I hope you're making a montage of this. Right, so yeah, I'm going to do the joke lap first time, first lap. Now, Pat, I never said I would be a good cheerleader. doing the joker lap first I've, I've done it first lap yeah yeah well, not, not, not that it's done me much good but you think, oh, there's still one car that hasn't done it yet these two have. Are you catching up with them? Was. <laughs> Pad's uh, putting abuse in the uh, chat. I would, uh, I would expect nothing less. Yeah. Give me an S. Give me a H. Give me an I. Give me a T. No idea what that spells. Uh, he finishes it off by saying, "What does that make? What does that make? You're a terrible driver." All in capitals. That's, I'd like to see him try and play. It. Now, when uh, Paddy is allowed back out into the general public. Uh, for reasons unrelated to COVID-19, I'm putting that out there and let people think what they want. Um, yeah, Pat can come round and prove you right about how difficult this is. <laughs> Crew recommendations. Right, last heat. 
to see me not qualify for the final. Okay. Uh, just before you do, uh, Pad has just said, what did you just imply then, Kirsty? Unrelated to COVID-19? Pretty sure I've been stuck indoors since March because of COVID. Well, that's what you've been saying and what many medical professionals have been saying, Pad, but I say otherwise. I'm still ahead of the other car that took it. For the time being. Try not to be too distracted by my rearview mirror. had him then as well. Still only finished fourth overall. Just making me go into the final now.
You saved uh, it. Oh, no. It's way too soon. Well, I'm not taking the Joker lap unless he does as well. Though. Everyone's taking it at the same time. <coughs> I would have probably been better off staying out. The barriers. Obviously not, they're a bit offensive. Take is he? Not gonna let me know. Game third, yay. Semi final now. Well, hey. There's more, more, uh, more races in this one. Yes, there are. And it's six laps, so. It's only the third, only the top three that qualify. Mm -hmm. The bottom three have all taken their Joker lap. How annoying! And you still, yeah, and you're still in first place. I bet that looked quite spectacular for the other drivers. <laughs> Oh, 
No one else has taken the joke. Have I signed out of the Discord again? Yeah, sounds like you have signed out of Discord. first if not taken it yet. I mean that's a little it's coming up for lap four so okay. I don't know Pad can still hear you quite clearly so that's right then. yeah Take your joke while I was saying, aren't you? Mm-hmm. He's still not taking it yet. <laughs> The guy behind you is at least two seconds behind. Time on very much. There we go. Oh, nice snowy one. Although that's a long one. Afternoon.
Oh, great. <laughs> you chose this. <laughs> I didn't realise it. There's going to be raining. Mm -hmm. Hear the corners at all. Too quiet. <laughs> oh dear. All I can hear is the engine noise. I can't hear the co drivers at all. Really? I can hear them. Hey. I can hear that they're talking, but I can't hear what they're saying. No, that's, that's not going to work. Right five long. Only 35 seconds behind. Titans over crest 40. Left four, Titans three, and right three. Left four, left into three, yeah. Into left five over crest 40. Left two over crest, long. And right three. Into left five. And right four over small crest, 60 over bump. Left five, crest, 60 over small crest. And keep left over crest. Into right two long. And left two through dip, open six. And times two over crest. And right six through dip. Left three over crest and right six. Left two opens 40. Right three opens and times 40. I only lost an additional five seconds on that bit. Crest jump 60 past junction. See, you're already improving. Left one past junction. Left five. Right three half long. Open. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> From the snow bank. You can stop right weaving now. It's a left five and right three forty past junction. Left three long over crest opens and times two. And right two open sixty over crest jump maybe. finish somehow finish fourth
know what time we're on. 22. Well, 25 too. Do we change to another game? Drive Club? Yeah. You've not had that one yet? Okay, and this was a, uh, this was of course one of the uh, first games released for PlayStation VR. But it's not red. Why is there a carry bag blowing up the thread? my view slightly. I always thought that the the non VR version of of Drive Club got a lot of un unwarranted flack. Oh yeah. Mainly because of all the broken promises that Sony had of uh, how it was going to be free, and then it wasn't. But it all over uh, overshadowed that the actual game was good, not like really good. And ultimately led to uh, Sony shutting down the studio. Which would normally be a, a sad story. But the studio was then bought by Codemasters. Ah. And went on to make Dirt 5. So. Stop it. Let's 
Where's the whole thing off to the side? I don't get it. Look at why the whole view is making forcing me to look left while I'm playing. You just need to recenter the uh, camera by press. Was it holding down the options? Yeah, I tried doing that. Oh, do you want me to do it on the controller? But I need you to face forward while you're doing it. I'm going to do that when I'm on a straight. Um, yeah, see, it doesn't work. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Because the options button is there as well. Ah, yeah. Very strange. All right. Why is it not calibrating? It's, it's not moving at all. Where's the That. You're still not exactly center, are you? It's a jump. around Scotland, shall we? Yeah, that one. Still not centering. I don't get it. I'm facing forward now, but it's not, it's not centering on the camera at all. I took a screenshot. Still won't centre on it. not doing it at all. <laughs> it's keeping the car facing the same direction, no matter where I look. It's weird.
and Drive Club was always always another very very quiet driving game as well. You can at least hear the engine though, if only very quietly. Don't get why the game's making me look left while I'm playing it. Now I genuinely, now I genuinely can't see where the road's going when it's when it's got a big left hand corner. No idea what it looks like for you on the telly. <laughs> it's like you're just looking out the uh, corner. You're not looking. It's not it's straight it's... on the TV. Oh. And it's like getting worse. Yeah, it's like making me, making me look further and further left as I'm playing. <laughs> Just unplayable. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. Now it thinks that you're behind it. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one done then. For some reason, the lights on the VR have gone off, except for it in the back. Oh no, now they're all popping up. I mean, I'm nearing the two hour mark on the stream anyway. Now it is unlocked. Rather a lot of cars. A mini. It's already going off centre. Let's try and get some racing in while, it's, while, while I'm actually still looking forward then, John.
Had gone off in a huff about something. Eh, he's probably just listening to us in the background. Saying that, I did heavily imply that uh, his reasons for not being allowed out were nothing to do with COVID, so he might still be in a huff about that. Hey, race complete. Mm -hmm. This was some very nice scenery. This is the Canada, one of the Canada tracks, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. Well, anyway, that's probably a good, good a time as any to call it a day on this week's live stream. And I just dropped a uh, VR headset on a cat. <laughs> um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'll be back next Sunday night after Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody, by the way. Um, and I have no idea what I'll be live streaming, but I'll be back here at 8, 8 p.m. Sunday night playing something for your amusement. Uh, we'll also be back on Wednesday night for a bit of Overcooked which I'm sure will go down really, really well. Like a lead balloon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we're we going to be playing some uh, some incredibly Christmassy levels as we attempt the uh, Surf and Turf DLC. Yes, on, very Christmassy. On, on, a, desert, on a desert island. Um, I'm sure that'll be fun. Uh, if you enjoyed what, if you like what I've done, then uh, give us a like and subscribe. Um, click the link in the description to join our Discord and never miss out on another live stream. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel over on Twitch as well, if you're a, especially if you're a fan of retro gaming. So uh, thanks very much, everybody, for watching. And hopefully I will see you all again soon. Happy Christmas, everybody.